Okay, here's a quick overview of the new AWR 3DI importer. Uh, the importer is a wizard, and when you run it, really all you have to do is browse to the file which you'd like to import. And this 3DI file is coming from the AWR out product, which uh, runs inside of Cadence Allegro. When it's doing the import, it's actually going to go and analyze the nets, the connectivity, the components, and build a schematic uh, as if you had done the design originally uh, inside of AWR. Um, maybe I'm just going to take a second here to highlight the two nets of interest. You can see the cross probing here when I select the nets in the layout. They also highlight in the schematic. Um, but let's go ahead and turn these red just so they're easy for everyone to see. Um, so there's the nets of interest uh, in the layout. And what this other area is, uh, it's from the proximity net option. It's a cutout option where basically you tell it a distance around your nets which you're interested in capturing data. and the um, AWR out tool will go, it will make a cutout around your nets at the specified distance, and it's a perfect cutout in the z-axis, so it cuts out all possible layers. And then, of course, you have the uh, footprints for the components that those nets were attached to. Um, like I said, we did make the schematic, we did wire in the nets automatically, but we don't know the models for each of the components. So right now, the uh, elements are just dummy placeholders, and this is where the user needs to come back in and put in a model for this OP, LIN, uh, BGA, LF, IC, you know, whatever that device might be. Um, there's one model here and another model there. Uh, of course, when we bring in any um, uh, layers that you have, so uh, here you can see all the different layers that existed in the Allegro database uh, on this file we're importing. And then we also make uh, a complete stack up. And by stack up, it's not just having the layers and their thicknesses, but you also have to have all of their EEM properties. So we're talking about dielectric constants, loss tangents, and then an inherent understanding of the way each of the metal layers uh, inside of the, the file sits uh, in that dielectric stack up. So you can see in this case, top sits on top there. Um, this next layer is a ground layer, then a signal layer, then a power layer, and so on and so forth. And, and I know the layer type just based on the name, if the names were more generic, then I wouldn't know what's going on. In terms of simulating, which is why we bring things in, this is all set up to use the AWR extraction flow. So I can just pick a simulator, uh, right click, um, tell it I want to add an extraction, and what you'll see here is it makes the EM dock for you. It automatically adds ports onto the ends of the nets for you. And the beauty of the AWR extraction flow is that the EM documents are created, the ports are automatically added, and then when I'm done, I have this four port S parameter block that block is automatically merged in underneath my schematic. So I never have to do anything more than simply simulate and look at results from my schematic. I don't have to worry about wiring up any of the EM results. Anyway, that's the basics. Uh, thanks for listening.